In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a diagram to the dashboard. Now one thing I recommend you do prior to watching this video is actually go back and take a look at the map video that we created. Uh, reason being, the map and the diagram are actually the same thing. The only difference is the source uh, file that we're going to be grabbing. The map is automatically able to pull in the map resources that it needs to generate the land masses, whereas the diagram expects you to basically provide some kind of structure. So if you look in the Explore panel, you'll see there's a folder here called Diagrams. So in my case, I don't have any diagrams yet uploaded to Dundas BI. So let's do that. I'm going to go to the file system. I'm going to take a XAML file, and I'm going to drag that right onto the Diagrams folder. Expanding that, you'll now see my diagram file has been uploaded. Now all I have to do is drop that diagram somewhere on the dashboard. And this will basically give me the overall structure of what I want to see. And at this point, everything else is exactly like the map. Let's go into the shape collection, and everything you see uh, basically as an enclosed figure is considered a shape within the map. So you'll notice under shapes there's these bays, bay 01 through bay 12. Basically every large rectangle that you're seeing here is one of those bays. And that's what I'm actually binding the information to. Everything else that you're seeing on this diagram file is really just here for decoration. And you'll notice that there's all these other figures here that really aren't even named that I don't have to worry about because they're not even going to be used. I just have to line up my data to the binding names of these visible elements that I care about. So let's go to the data. and you'll see that I have a production lines table in here. So let's try binding units per hour. That would be my measure. And then line binding name is what I'm going to bind to. So that's just going to be my rows dimension. And you'll see in doing that I automatically have a diagram that's colored. Now if you wanted to change the color of this, it's just exactly what you would do with the map. Go to look, There it is. Find the shape color rules, expand the shape color rules, and then just change your to and from color. So if you wanted to start from a light color and work your way to a blue or something like that, you can. If you wanted to change the default colors uh, for your map, you can also do that. So under look, you'll see there's a default shape fill. Maybe I want all my shapes to be this gray color that we're using for the stroke. So that would be your default probably have to darken the stroke a bit, but something like that. And there you go, that's my diagram that I'm showing. Now this should give you a pretty basic idea of what's possible with a diagram, but do keep in mind there's a lot more available, so please do see our documentation.